It's a nail biter for several other key House and Senate races across the country at stake as which party controls Congress. The CBS News estimate has 190 House seats for Democrats and 203 held by the GOP. 218 are needed for control. In the Senate, the latest election results give Democrats 48 seats with 47 going to Republicans. CBS News' Natalie Dudridge reports five Senate races are still outstanding. One may not be determined until December. We bet on the people of Pennsylvania, and you didn't let us down. CBS News projects John Fetterman flipped Pennsylvania's open Senate seat blue, defeating Republican TV doctor Mehmet Oz in one of the most expensive and toughest races. Fetterman, the state lieutenant governor, overcame a stroke amid the campaign. This was Oz overnight. We've been closing the gap all night, and we have a lot more ballots to go. Fetterman's team tweeted this morning, Oz called and conceded. To Georgia now, where votes are still being tabulated, incumbent Democratic Senator Raphael Warnock is locked in a razor-thin race with Republican challenger Herschel Walker. Georgia requires a majority to win statewide office. An election official tells CBS News it's likely neither Warnock nor Walker will surpass the 50% threshold required and will likely proceed to a December 6th runoff. We're in a fight, are we not? We're in a fight. Georgia is showing up in such an amazing way. Arizona's Senate race is still on call, but leaning towards Democrats. Former astronaut Democratic Senator Mark Kelly, currently ahead of Blake Masters, a political newcomer and Trump backed venture capitalist. Also, a toss up in Nevada. Democratic Senator Catherine Cortez Masto is trying to defend her seat against Republican Adam Laxalt. Cortez is considered Considered to be the most vulnerable Democratic senator fighting for re-election. It will be a crucial pickup for Republicans looking to flip the seat. Democrats have held slim majorities in the Senate and House for the past two years. Historically, the party that controls the White House loses a significant number of seats in the midterms. Several races remain in the air. So far, control of the Senate is still a toss-up. In the newsroom, Natalie Dudridge, CBS 2 News.